It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills, and it comes your way next. We are about 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. From the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And they can't bring him down. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Allen going to look to throw on the first play. And incomplete to open things up. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Now a second and 10. Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. Now a stoppage for an injured player, and a lot of people holding their breath on this one right now. That's Stephon Diggs who is shaken up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. They run for the first time with James Cook. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Allen running right on the option. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. 
And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to take over at their own 41. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure, and he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at the 41-yard line. After the turnover, it's Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the 50-yard line. Just need a yard here, second and one. They'll run. Here's Devon Achan. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. A Miami first down. That one going for a gain of 11. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And some space to move right away as he's all the way up to the 30. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now a second and two. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point that continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Here's the seventh play in this drive. This is third and four. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. So fourth down, two it departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. That's just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will jump out to a 3-0 lead. Well, it's not the touchdown that they wanted, CD, but still, they got to be pretty happy here. You steal the ball away from them on their opening possession, and you turn that into the early 3-0 lead. Yeah, you painted the picture perfectly there, all the things that have gone on. And the important thing, other than the lead, of course, is as you described, both sides of the ball now have some momentum. to the field goal. Here comes Sanders to kick it away. Go, 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 go. 
And he returns this to the 22. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Their second drive here in the ballgame, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive and get some points of their own. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on I it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Here's second and ten. Now Allen. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. Five yards, now it's third and five. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Allen gonna throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To the air, Allen. His throw incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Here's Allen to throw it. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. Just like last play. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play. And immediately got to the pass. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Got a man. That's Trent Sherfield. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike, and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one, the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and no more. Tackled that time by Jerome Baker out of Ohio State. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. On second down, Cook. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Not a whole lot of room to maneuver there, and I think that's because everyone took care of their responsibilities, filled their gaps, held their place. No place for him to run. Yeah, look good. Everything got funneled to the nose tackle. They swallowed him up. Throwing his Allen on third. That is caught. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 12-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage. Get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards. Turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. 
From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. On the tackle there, Zach Sealer out of Ferris State. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Here's Hallett. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Allen now looks to throw. Flushed out right. that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. On second down, Tua. Short throw hauled in by Croft. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Third and two. Throwing now is Tugabailoa. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Play action. Now it's Tua. risking anything there on first down even though he's still in the pocket he had a receiver out to his side so just put that in the spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches well done so second down still 10 yards to go ball on the 43 here's Tua this will be caught it's Waddle 
And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 27 yards there, a first down. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dive set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Cook up the gun. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After 1-7-3, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Throwing now is Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And I think there defensively, they were so intent on stopping the run that they kind of got caught out of position. This is just a simple pitch and catch for a first down. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. That's quickly out wide to Davis. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. To throw, it's Allen. And that is incomplete here. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. The Bills on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and eight. Allen to throw once more. They're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least. If they pick a field goal, turns out to be the better call here. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. The kick by Bass is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. to well, They already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. And yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up.
So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Dolphins offense returning to the field. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Two are going to throw. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Terrell Bernard getting in there to drop him for a sack. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. That one complete to Barrios. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Going to the air, Tugabailoa. To the sideline and incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Tua. To Barrios. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 36. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. To his throw caught by his receiver Hill. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. They'll run right side with Mostert. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. 26 yards for Raheem Mostert. And the Dolphins are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So this drive spans seven plays, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Moster. Ten apiece as the kicks away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. 
Yeah, here come the Bills. to the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. Yeah, he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outta boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Allen. He will find Davis on the left side complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Allen going to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Play action, Allen uncorks one for Davis. And this is caught at the 20. A big play here for Buffalo, 41 yards. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll try the middle with Cook. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. The Bills on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and eight to the air, Allen. That's caught by Shakir. And the Bills are gonna have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, field goal gets you the lead and they're in range, but they're not looking to settle for three. They're thinking six. That's a nice throw there on third down to keep the chains moving. Now Allen. Side. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Here's Allen to throw it. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis from four yards out. And the Bills have broken the tie. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Tyler Bass now for the point after. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. 
A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Barrios now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And to about the 23. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Ball at the 23, second and eight. They fake the handoff, now Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then, but they're showing signs of life here, and they get good yardage that time and a first down. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. And yeah, that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot, forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills will take over possession here up at the 44. We don't see this off to the quarterback of his caliber. Two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off, his biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. So after the INT, it's Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Now Allen. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Now in third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. And that is incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. 
So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Throwing up first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Okay, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. Room past the 35. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Oh, and that is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Tua sets up to pass it. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of it, it's low and incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because that incompletion's on first and second down. Now you gotta worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give him another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 43. A third down gain of 19. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? It should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not cause, easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. And yeah, they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Well, there's no disputing. He's made some poor throws in this first half, but this was a good one. And you can bet this is an offense that isn't going to pull back. They believe in what he can do. So all you can do is look forward, and they pick up a first down. Meanwhile, to his throw complete there to Barrios. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Again, they will throw it with Tagovailoa. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now Tua. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. 
So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So they've been in the red zone three times and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Here's Tua. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. Illegal touching. Offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. The kick by Sanders is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you wonder if with Allen's arm, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long one. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a solid first half of football by the great quarterback, Josh Allen. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. This fielded right at the goal line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 21. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. And he's brought down, giving this one up to about the 35. 
15 yards is the pickup there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Two are going to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. So many offense want to put their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Looking to pass to him. So many times we look at the opening drive in the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Here's Hardy set to return. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. Allen now looks to throw. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Down to the 10. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception return for a touchdown. And this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. Sanders on for the extra point. And that one gives them a three-point lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown.
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. He certainly did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could have ended up worse. Second and 10. To the air, Allen. Looking on the out route, he finds Shakir. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 on that one, and a Bills first down. Allen off the play fake, going deep for Diggs. What a play right there. That nearly went the distance. Credit this defense for not giving up. They get him down just short of the goal line, but the damage is done. It's going to be first and goal from an ideal position. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Quick throw complete. Touchdown, Bills! Khalil Shakir, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Bills have retaken a third-quarter lead. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 26. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 70 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Once again, it's Mostert. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. 
Well, partner, I haven't seen a vote for most popular player on the team. This guy's got to get a lot of votes. He does not care, does he? Totally unselfish, physical runner, doesn't worry about yardage, just keeps moving the chains, being a team player. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. From the gun, it's Tua. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll leave him with a third and two. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. It's a pickup of six. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Up the middle they go with Mostert. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman. The ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and eight. Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hill. Just a gain of a couple there. And now third down and six to go. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And that is incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about the defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. The Dolphins will send out the punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. From the 22, here's second and eight. On play action, Allen. Finding Shakir across the formation. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. A tenth carry in the game for Cole. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. 
Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. From the gun, it's Allen. That'll be complete to Cook. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Allen on third. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. And here comes Raheem Mostert in the Miami offense. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. Two and now on first down. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On second down, Tua. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. Couple of Alabama guys there, Tua to Waddle for the Miami first. Two yards on the play. First down, Miami. Out of the gun, here's a give to Achan. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Tug of Iloa to throw on second down here. This one left side caught by Barrios. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert to the 43 second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Second and seven. HN gets it from the gun. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. 
The Dolphins on third down. They're hitting at 60%. Six out of ten thus far. This is third and seven. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. Tua sets up to pass it on target over the middle of the hill. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 34-yard line, here's second and two. Here's Tug of Ilo to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39. Showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. And two are going to slide to a halt, but he will have the first down. And they get 10 yards there and convert on third. They're not out of it yet, but in order to come back, they need to play clean football the rest of the way. He makes the correct read there, passing on challenging a blanket coverage and getting the first down with his legs instead. On first and 10, it's Mostert. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Off of play action, Tug of Iloa. And he'll get this into the hands of Hale complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 13-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. From the third team now, they work on first and 10. Now Tua. He's got Wilson, middle of the field. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the five, here's second and two. Here's Tua. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Micah Hyde comes flying in from safety for the sack. Safety blitz. Such a fun play call to witness when it works. And the deep man can get home for a sack. Great timing by him. Interception earlier in this contest. Now a sack. He's definitely campaigning for Player of the Week honors, isn't he, partner? So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And here he'll get it down to the 7. It'll be a gain of 4, but it'll bring us now to a third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go -go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, yeah, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field. But defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure. 
That's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Likely the play of the game here. Trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. They kept it in the air on fourth, Charles. They ran on first and second down, tried it through the air on third and fourth, couldn't come away with anything on fourth and goal. And remember, in these situations, the field is really condensed. Everything is squeezed tight. So as a defender, you can actually take more chances here because they won't have as much time to throw the football, and a receiver really can't run past you. If they do, they run out of the back of the end zone. Nice job by the D, shutting them down. They start the drive with Cook. And a productive gain out to the 14 after starting at the 7. It's a gain of 7. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying it around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flash back to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Seven yards there at a first down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And he'll be tackled right on the chart for the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They should have put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. A give. This is Cook. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And Davis will have a Bills first down as he'll get this down to the 41. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. Oh, the motion comes too late. And this is going to be a delay. Delayed game, offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. So the delay of game penalty backs them up. It's now second and seven. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. 
After that run, still a good amount of meat on the bone here for this third down play. Can you envision them putting this in the air? Totally. I mean, look at who he has under center right now. If you can't trust him with the football, you can't trust anyone. And frankly, to me, I want the ball down the stretch. Get the first down, keep it in the hands of my offense. I don't want to turn it over to them and rely on my D. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. It's caught by Davis. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. to the ground this time Cook stopped at the 24 yard line after a gain of five now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next third and five Try to take this home, they'll run. And they're gonna stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. And if you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is gonna be pretty good. They have more people to the football and snuffed out the play. Allen gonna go on fourth down. Down 24-20, a little over a minute to go. And the fourth down stop gives him a new lifeline, at least for the moment. Now Tua. He's got to complete to Waddle. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. They'll come up now on second down. Here's Tua. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. Oh, and what a nice tackle there. That will hardly move the needle at all offensively. A very short game. Well, I'm no coach, but there's just not time right now for throws that short. Yeah, sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. As Coach Madden liked to say, sometimes you have to take what you want. This Buffalo crowd letting them have it. Third down now. Connecting with Hill, and he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger. The dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch.